Hello, my name is Will Enoch. I'm an interlocking pavement system specialist for Enoch Group. And what I'm going to do is review this splitter from Bivar. I bought this splitter. I used it on one job. Um, basically, the way it works, you center your paver right dead center, and you pull down on the handle, and you're supposed to get a you're supposed to get a, a nice clean cut. Okay. Let's do another one. Let's see here. And these are the cuts that the Vivor splitter produces. Let me get another cut out of this one from this angle. I'm going to put an angle cut right through here. Here's a cut here. And let me do another one. Give you a little history on this splitter. Bought this splitter so I wouldn't have to do as much saw cutting on certain applications. You know, you always want your cuts to be nice and clean, but there's some applications where uh, it could be a, a rough cut, just depending on the application. And, and splitters are pretty good at kind of rough cuts. And may I also add, all, pretty much all splitters are pretty good at rough cutting. They, they have some pretty good cuts sometimes. There's another one. You can see the little yellow marking from the blade. That's where I made the cut. That's that's not bad because it meets up against, say, an edge or a border, and you would have something like that. But the real test on a paper splitter is to be able to cut the long cut. Get it set up here. Push down on this. If, if I was able to do that, let me do it on this one. If I was able to insert the paver, lean down on it, it would give it an angle cut. That way the bottom of the paver wouldn't touch up against whatever, a wall or around a planter, raised planter. The bottom wouldn't touch first and leave a gap at the top. So that's why I like cutting them at an angle and that's why this pivots like this. Pushing down, getting it set on there, and that's the angle cut I'm talking about. So when you place it up against another edge, you have a pretty nice, it's pr pretty pretty nice fit. I can't complain with that. Let me give you one more cut. Kind of adjust it and make sure you got a good enough tight, tight enough fit. And then there's there's another cut. So that's the kind of cutting that a splitter actually does. The splitter uh, it doesn't replace a diamond blade saw, but a splitter can can help, especially like with retaining wall blocks. This space can open up wide enough to insert the typical eight-inch thick block. And what that does, just like the face of a retaining wall block, it leaves it rough. And in that case, you wouldn't put so much lean on it to give it that angle. You just make it whatever kind of cut comes out. Something like a, I don't know, maybe, you no, know, something with not as much lean to it. It can make a, a, a cut for a retaining wall for the face. So now, just one thing, just gonna make this last cut. And there's another cut. Okay, now Vivor wants me to give a review, product review, and what I'm gonna do is take you over to my laptop and I'm gonna show you the email they sent me for the type of review that they would like. Hold on. I don't know if you can see the screen on the laptop. I'm having trouble with all this sun, but they're asking me, they says, Dear Will Enoch, 
Thank you for shopping. We hope you're enjoying your purchase. Your purchase experience is very important to us. We would like to invite you to leave a positive feedback on our products and services. It only takes a moment and it's a great way to help others make purchases like yours. And it shows what I bought. That's the same tool that I bought and it's by a company called Vivor. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, there we go. All right, so that's my review of the Vivor paver splitter. Thanks for watching.